Hi everybody, thanks so much for joining me today. I am so happy that you have taken the time to spend some time with me. I am glad to be chatting with you today. This is going to be a very short show because I have almost zero knitting to show you. I do have a finished object, a blocked finished object that I forgot to show you last week, but besides that there are there's no other knitting to show you. Um, if you are all about the knitting and don't care about what's going on in my life and the distractions that I have had the last couple of weeks, then maybe you can just skip this episode and move on to the next. But it is still going to be a short episode, so even if you don't skip it, it'll be done pretty quickly and you'll be able to move on to the next episode anyway. So let's get right to it. I feel like the lighting is different today. I don't know why. Anyway, um, I, I know. Do you want to say hello? Mm-hmm. Cody, of course, is here on my lap talking to everyone, making sure that you know that he is here. <laughs> anyway, um, I'm hoping that this episode does not is not discombobulated. In fact, I gotta adjust that. <laughs> I wasn't I wasn't centered. I was I was looking at the at the screen and it was driving me a little crazy. Anyway, I'm hoping this episode doesn't seem a little discombobulated. I kind of feel a little discombobulated. It's been another one of those crazy weeks. I have brief show notes on just a scratch of paper that I did earlier this afternoon. Last time I spoke to you, we had gotten really busy at work due to the major uh, flooding in the area. Well. That was on the 11th, and then on the 26th of August, we had another storm come through. This time it was a big wind storm, and we had trees down everywhere. So we have been extremely busy the last few weeks again. And honestly, we've been very busy for the last six months. So needless to say, the knitting has not even been pulled out of my bag at the office. Not for five minutes, not for 30 seconds. So there isn't much knitting again this week. I have been doing some knitting. I have been working on the fall mystery knit along. I have... Um, completed my first shawl. Actually, I completed a, sh a sample shawl that was wrong. And then I completed a second um, small shawl, which was correct. And I have started a third large shawl. So I will have two correct shawls to show you when the pattern comes out. But it will be a mystery first before it is actually actually released as a regular pattern. Um, I'm hoping that it's going to be the first clue will be released on October 3rd. I think that's a Friday. It'll be the second or the third. It's going to be that Thursday or Friday uh, because I know a lot of people like to get started on their mystery knit alongs over the weekend. So that's my goal. I want to try and do it either Thursday evening or Friday evening. Um, one of those days. And then there will be a total of four clues for the small and a total of six clues for the large. And again, you need one skein or two skeins, depending. I will have, I hope to have the pattern on Ravelry where you can get like the basic general information like um, 
what type of yarn, stuff like that. I hope to have that done by the end of next weekend. Oh, really? You don't think so? <laughs> he doesn't think I'm going to have it done by next weekend. I know. Well, I'm going to try. <laughs> um, so we'll see. I have a lot of things going on right now. Besides work being so crazy busy, I have been distracted by a number of things. I have been distract distracted by updating the website. I don't know if you have gone to knittingblooms.com lately, but it's a totally new website. I'm trying to get all of the videos re-uploaded to a new free hosting site and then get the the um, posts on the blog and hopefully when it's all said and done all of the episodes will be on iTunes as well because even with WordPress once we were on WordPress I could only have the most recent 50 episodes so anybody who likes to use iTunes uh, could only get the most 50 recent episodes on iTunes but because I have to do it in such a way, I'm hoping all the episodes are going to be in order and that if anybody who finds the podcast on iTunes at some future date and they decide they want to watch all the episodes, they will be in order for them. Um, I'm a stickler about that. That drives me crazy if they're not in order. There's not a whole lot I can do about the YouTube not being in order because I didn't start YouTube until like after two years. Of, of the podcast and then I updated I pulled all the videos over to YouTube however on YouTube I have playlists for all the seasons so you can start with season one go through that playlist then season two go through that playlist and so forth and I have all of the seasons done in fact I have to make sure that I have season four updated I think I do anyway so that has been taking a lot of time a lot of my computer time um, a lot, just a lot of time in general because there is a lot of steps that I have to do to update the blog, to update the new blog. And at the same time, I'm in the process of updating the WordPress blog to include the YouTube videos versus the WordPress videos because when I cancel my business account with WordPress, I am not going to have unlimited storage over there for all of the episodes that are uploaded there. So I'm trying to convert everything and delete all the episodes from WordPress and have the link going to YouTube. It's a lot of work. And then on top of that, I've been distra distracted even more by Sims. By Sims 3 first, because I recently discovered a trick that is helping to have my um, my game run better and that trick is to actually scrub the memory before playing the game and that seems to be working quite well so I've been spending a lot of time playing Sims in the evenings when I get home from work because after a crazy busy day of go, 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 barely having time to breathe, barely having time to stop and have lunch, when I get home, I just don't want to feel like doing anything. Even simple knitting or even doing a, a shawl pattern that I've done three times now. So a lot of times during the week in the evening, I have just been sitting and playing Sims because it's brainless. I can just sit there and stare at the computer and let the Sims entertain me. So that's what I've been doing in the evenings. But then Sims 4 came out, came out on Tuesday this week, and I've been obsessed with watching Let's Plays and trying to find a way for me to get Sims 4 on my computer, but it's only for a PC, and I have a Mac. So, it's been a challenge. There are ways for me to do it, 
Um, I think I have come up with a solution and I might try it this weekend. I know it's going to be a long process because I have to basically partition my drive and install windows on my computer, which is crazy. I love the Mac OS and I really don't want to install windows on my Mac. But if I want to be able to play Sims without having to spend $1,000 on a computer, that's my option. So right now, I had to spend $20 on a Windows version, a Windows disk, actually, and I didn't even do it. Mr. Steve just got it for me today at school because they have um, things like that at the university for students and faculty and staff and whatnot um, discounts on software. So Steve picked me up a copy of Windows 8 today. So thank you very much, honey, for picking that up for me. So excited. So for a just a small bit of money, I think I will be able to get Sims 4 installed on my computer. Now, I think I'm going to try the demo, the, the Create a Sim demo first before I invest the $70 in the game, just to be sure. But that's on the agenda for the next couple of days. So yeah, but I feel like I'm kind of burning the candle at both ends because there's so many things I want to do. This past weekend, this holiday weekend, I spent a lot of time reading and then playing Sims and not really doing much of anything. I did not get my steps this weekend horribly bad. I think I had like less than 5,000 steps every day this weekend. So bad, so bad. I'm going to try to improve that, but with the way that work's going, I just feel like when I get home, I'm just like exhausted, and the last thing I want to do is get on the treadmill. Although, I do know that getting on the treadmill and working out after having a busy day, I mean, it hasn't been that stressful because I've been like, okay, I'm trying not to let it stress me out, because I know that there's no possible way that I could get everything done in the time that I'm at the office. And my boss is not taking any of my suggestions on how to alleviate the workload. So I'm trying to just go with the flow. I am not getting stressed out. My boss is still getting stressed out, but I am trying not to let him stress me out. And I'm just trying to do the best that I can for the time that I have and but anyway I was getting to why I should work out after work so I do know that I should work out after work um, instead of just coming home and sitting but sometimes that's just all I feel like doing so anyway I do want to talk to you about my finished object that I had from a couple weeks ago that I never showed you the finished object. This was the Through the Loops mystery shawl. And I finally got it blocked. And I'm hoping Cody does not try and bite it or anything because he is right here. Yes, I know. It is beautiful. I love it. I love how it turned out. I haven't had a chance to wear it because it has been so incredibly hot here the last few weeks or the last week or so but it's done I showed it to you a couple weeks ago when it was unblocked but now it's blocked and it's beautiful and Cody's gonna get hair on it again no chewing on that please um, it is absolutely beautiful but that's really all the knitting I have to share with you today like I said I have worked on my mystery shawl and I did want to also mention about that. Um, the pattern will come out. It will be at a discounted rate at $5 for the pattern because there are two sizes. It will be at a discounted rate of $5 until the knit along starts. And then the price will go up to $7. And I haven't decided yet if there will be a code for a continued discount for podcast watchers, but um, stay tuned. If you don't buy the pattern before the cow starts, 
Uh, stay tuned for the podcast to the podcast to see if there's a code. I haven't, like I said, I haven't decided if I'm gonna give the podcast watchers a code to continue to get it at five dollars off through the Cal, or if um, what I'm gonna do exactly. So that will be coming out um, hopefully by the end of next weekend. We'll see how that goes. It's like I said, things are just crazy. I'm trying to get the blog updated as quickly as I possibly can, but it takes so much time and I have so many other things that I have to do on my computer that I just can't spend hours updating the blog every every day. Um, but yeah, that's about it. I've been working on my Nantucket Red for a little bit. I have the second, um, I think it's the left front started. Um, I have worked on my socks that are done with the You Betcha colorway from Dramatic Knits. That has been kind of my go-to when I need just something brainless, absolutely brainless that I don't have to even think about. Um, but really, not much else. Because, you know, Sims takes a lot of time to play. And because I've been doing this additional research about Sims 4, then there's not much time for knitting. So, that's about it. As always, thanks for joining me, and I hope you enjoyed the show. Please feel free to contact me with your comments or suggestions, as I am always trying to improve the show. You can find me on Ravelry, Instagram, and YouTube as Blooming Knitter. You can also find me on Plurk, Twitter, and Pinterest as Blooming Knitter, but I don't frequent those sites as often. I post show updates on Twitter and Facebook, and sometimes to Google Plus and Plurk. I am Miss Aerobics on MyFitnessPal and Fitbit. You can always find all the old episodes as well as links to the tutorials on the blog at www.knittingblooms.com. And you can also follow the show on Facebook. You can email me at knittingblooms at gmail.com and show notes can be found at knittingblooms.com. <laughs>